Welcome back Angie. Last time you were here you explained one aspect of smart FOIP from Cometrix, which I found very interesting. You were about to explain more, but I ran out of time. Will you finish your explanation? Of course. I believe I told you how smart FOIP handles the late T38 re-invite problem. Right. But the way they do it results in many more G711 pass-through FOIP calls. Isn't that problematic? Wow. You really were listening. And yes, G711 based FOIP L2 often results in partial or missing pages for longer faxes, so Cometrix fixed that also. Smart FOIP makes all multiple page faxes appear to be multiple one page faxes. How does that help? Well, to tell you I have to issue a tech alert. Okay? Okay, I'm ready. It's little known fact that over decent IP networks, most G711 FOIP problems don't come from missing packets. It's actually related more to jitter buffer management. With voice over IP, gateways use packet loss concealment techniques to smooth out the G711 stream. You can duplicate the last packet if necessary if one is missing, and you can throw away packets if the sender is going too fast. That becomes necessary if the clocks in the sending terminal, for example, are faster than the clocks in the gateway or the receiving fax terminal. But in fax calls the jitter buffers must be fixed. No throwing packets away if the jitter buffer starts to get full. And it will either get full or run dry if the fax is long enough. You may recall that Smart FOIP attaches V.21 modems to the media stream to solve the late T38 re-invite problem. They leave them attached so they can determine when the sender is between pages. During that time, Smart FOIP sends a signal to the buffer management software that says, Hey, you can initialize your jitter buffer without upsetting the high-speed image modems because they aren't running right now, since we are between pages. That's why with Smart FOIP a 10-page fax looks like 10 one-page faxes, as far as the jitter buffer is concerned. Problem solved. Well. Just like the other fix, that is clever yet simple. What else can Smart FOIP do for me? There are three major aspects to it. The third is that Smart FOIP solves the V.34 integration problem, but that's another really geeky story for my next visit. Great, thanks Angie.